Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be sharing three budget-friendly beauty boxes that are going to give you a lot of bang for your buck, but aren't going to break the bank. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So I'm gonna show you the three budget-friendly boxes I have right now. The first one is the Walmart Beauty Box for only $5. It comes out quarterly, spring, summer, winter, and fall. This box actually, I just got an email about today saying that they were gonna try and make it better than ever. They were not going to send out a summer box. This is actually their spring box. It just hit my mailbox a couple of days ago and we wouldn't get the next box until April. So just know if you're a new subscriber, you can go on using the link down below. Sign up for it. You won't be charged until they ship your box, but it's $5 and the next box comes out in August. The second box or bag that I got was this new one by Sephora. Now Sephora did away with their bag called Play. It was a monthly subscription and they came out with this called Sephora Favorites and it is named Hello. So this one was $10 shipped and it's full of all kinds of sizes. Now what I liked about this one is when you order from Sephora, you actually get to pick out some samples. So for $10, I got this plus two samples, which I will show you when I unbox this one in a minute. And then last is my tried and true Ipsy Glam Bag. If y'all don't have a lot of money in your budget, this is the one to go with. It packs a lot of bang for the buck. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the first box, which is Walmart. Before we do that, I wanted to say my name is Christy and welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. If you happen to be stopping by for the first time and like what you see, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. And to all my tried and true subscribers, thank you for taking time out of your day to be here. So the Walmart Beauty Box looks like this. It does come wrapped in just a plastic over wrap, like a shrink wrap sort of. And it says Walmart Beauty. Now I will say, Walmart, I personally feel, does not take a lot of time with this box. They have access to tons and tons of vendors. They could make this box so much better. It almost feels like an afterthought. You are gonna get occasionally a full-size product or two. Most of the time, you're gonna get foil packets, but honestly, it ships everything in here plus shipping for $5. They actually say that it's $5 to ship and the box is free. So you can look at it that way too. Let's see what was in the spring box. I kind of feel like maybe they're not doing the summer box because they've been so far behind, but that might not be true. So when you open it up, this one looks great. It looks like this. So I got a Head & Shoulders Supreme Nourish Smooth. I need my glasses. This is a shampoo, conditioner, two in one. It says that this is a, yeah, scalp and hair conditioner. So it looks like that. Nice. Love that. Did we get a shampoo to go with it? No, we did not. Are we sure that's not a two in one? Let me just verify. No, it says scalp and hair conditioner. Okay. So that's that one. I wish that they would have sent maybe a shampoo to go with it. That's just my thought. The next thing is a Hello Charcoal Infused Tapered Bristle Toothbrush. This is naturally friendly and BP, uh, BPA free. So a toothbrush, that's nice. And honestly, if you've ever bought samples lately to go traveling, something like this could be up to like $2. So between these two, we've probably already got $4 worth of product. The next thing is Hello, this is a natural whitening fluoride toothpaste. So I like that they sent a toothbrush in the same brand as the toothpaste. Nice, that's a nice amount too, actually. Then I received the Biore Love Your Pores Rose Quartz and Charcoal Skin Purifying Cleanser. Don't you love those Biore strips? I'm like obsessed with them. And now they have the charcoal kind that are um, like a black color. So when you pull it off, so gross but satisfying you can actually see what comes out a little bit better than the classic white strips anyway this is just the cleanser very cool and then last but not least in here we got no oh yeah we did get a foil packet i lied this is a natural vitality magnesium supplement in raspberry lemon flavor and then we got a some kind of lip product is this by nyx yeah, this is by NYX. It's a, oh, it's a lip oil. Nice. Okay. 
that's a nice size too. I like these because they sort of fit in your purse and if you lose them down in the bottom or underneath your car seat or whatever, you don't feel so bad. Okay, for $5, this box was amazing. We got the NYX lip gloss or lip oil, the toothpaste, the magnesium supplement, the toothbrush, the Biore cleanser, which I'll probably pass on to one of my teens and they'll love, and then the conditioner. I do feel like we go through as a household more conditioner than we do shampoo. I'm not sure how that works. Does that happen in your house? So the Walmart box is a lot more sort of drugstore products, but it's sort of new, what's new and hot at the drugstore, which is fun because whether you're shopping at Sephora or the drugstore, it's always fun to try the newest things, right? Moving on from the $5 Walmart box, we're gonna up the ante just a little bit with Sephora Hello. Now, Sephora did have a subscription box called Play. They've done away with it. They said they sort of wanted to up the program or try different things. And this is what I saw that they came out with. This is not a subscription. You have to order it straight from the Sephora website. I will link it down below. It is still available at the time I'm filming this. And it is pretty packed from what I can tell, full of sort of favorites from Sephora. Again, it comes in sort of a cardboard box and because you're ordering it from the Sephora website, you got to pick out your samples. So I got a replica springtime in the park perfume sample. I have the replica beach walk, which I have a love hate relationship with. One day I'll wear it and love it and the next day I wear it and I hate it. So I can't really figure out what that's all about, but I wanted to try that one. And then I got the Huda Beauty mascara. Let's open it up and see. Oh, it looks like we get two. So there's two sort of little foil packets inside. Probably you could use these a time or two just to see. I really have sort of two diehard drugstore mascaras that I love, but I'm always interested in trying sort of higher priced mascara just to see what the hype is about. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then you just open it from the top, I think. Yeah, like that. So there's a little card inside. It says 15% off. If you thought the trial sizes were fun, just wait until you get the full sizes. Oh, there's, there's coupons on the back. Interesting, Sephora. So Sephora doesn't have a lot of sales. They just have the sort of VIB sales twice a year. I like that they included coupons, that's fun. All right, so the first thing in here is a kale and green tea and spinach of vitamins. This is by Youth for the People. Looks like this. Let me see if we can tell from this card what it is. It's a superfood cleanser. Okay. I just want to see what it looks like. It's, oh, it's in a bottle. Isn't that spiffy? That looks like it, it should be like on an apothecary shelf, sort of. Interesting. Kale and green tea and spinach vitamins superfoods cleanser. Happy to try that little guy out. Love the packaging on that. The next thing in here, we got a sample of Victor and Rolf. What is this? Oh, flower bomb. That's nice. I actually like this one. I've never bought the full size, but every time I get a sample of it, I'm never sad. I do really like it. I don't love floral perfumes, but for some reason, I do really like that one and enjoy it. Okay, the next thing in here is the Laneige Water Bank Moisture Cream. Now, I love the Laneige uh, lip masks. I have, see that little box right there? My night sends a mess. I have lip masks in several different flavors from them in that. And before I go to bed every night, I just smear my lips with that and they're so good. So this is a moisture cream for your face. I'm trying out a the Proteiny moisturizer from Drunk Elephant and I'm loving it, but it's almost gone. So happy to have something new to try. So that gives you a moisturizer, a little dabble G, yeah. So that'll take about a week like that. Okay, the next item in here, there's still a lot in here is the Living Proof Moisture Repair Mask. This is a hair mask treatment. I actually love Liv Living Proof products. I have several of them. I try and not buy them unless they're on sale usually, um, but I love getting them in the subscription boxes, so that's nice. Okay, then there is a NARS lipstick. This is in the color Tolid. I don't know if you can see it. T-O-L-E-D-E, -E. and it's a satin. I like that. Let's see what the color looks like. All right.
right? Ooh, that's pretty. That's gorgeous. Kind of matches my nails a little bit. That's pretty. That's really pretty. I like that. It kind of goes with what I have on today. I don't have a, here, here's a receipt right here. I needed to put this in my couponing app and then take it off and see what this looks like. <laughs> Mm. Isn't that pretty? It's almost a fallish color. Or on me it is. It sort of goes a little orangey. It's pretty. I like it. Okay? And I like that it's satin and it's not a uh, liquid lip. And then last but not least, we got something by Nude Sticks. This is a nudie. Looks like this. And what does it say about this guy? This is a matte blush and bronze in the color Sun Kissed. So it looks like this. That looks dark. Oh, wow. Maybe not. It's cream. Can you, can you see it? It's right there. That looks really dark for me, even for a blush. I didn't realize I had a scratch on my hand. One of the cats must have got me. Anyway, I don't know about this guy. That seems a little bit dark, but maybe not. Or maybe I'll try and use it on my eyes just to see what happens. Okay, and now we're going to up the ante one more time with one of my favorites, and that's the Ipsy Glam Bag. I think you get so much bang for your buck with this guy. <laughs> I just love it. I love that you get the little makeup case every month in this one. All right. So I did have some points that I used and I just cash on my points and then I use them for Sunshine Squad winners or giveaways or something. So I ended up getting the Meat Matte Tremoni. I don't remember ordering this, but I, I guess I did. And then um, I love the balm, the punniness of the balm cosmetics. That's a pretty palette. That's gorgeous. So this is probably gonna go in a future giveaway. And then I also ordered with points this Farah three-piece brush set. Sorry if I'm that <laughs> that silver foil is playing with my lights there. So I ordered this three-piece blush set, which will probably go in a future giveaway too. And then here is the bag that I received. That's cute with the little sunbathing ladies. And I always look for a red hair girl. There is one. And when you open it up, there's a little card. It says, make waves. Here comes the sun. And then it doesn't really explain the items that are in here. This is just a card. It looks like they're having a sweepstakes. I'll look at that later. Okay. You can customize one item in this box. I don't remember exactly what I customized, but I do think it might have been this one. This is the Pores Be Gone Matte Primer from First Aid Beauty. And I will use that. My primer that I'm using is almost gone. I may have like two or three days left. Um, so that's perfect timing. I never buy full size primer. I don't have a favorite favorite. So I usually just use whatever I get in subscription boxes. The next thing we got is an Azuline smoothing cream. Is this for hair? Yeah, for your hair. Okay, I haven't heard of that before. If you guys know anything about it, let me know. Right, the next thing in here is Vanilla Vibes by Juliet Has a Gun. Nice. I wanna smell this, Vanilla Vibes. Doesn't that sound fun? Well, that's a nice sample. That's not like one of the smaller ones. And it has a spray. Oh, oh, this is nice. It's not sweet, sweet like you would think vanilla. This is nice. I would look at purchasing this. It doesn't have a lot of like layered notes. It's, well, I think Juliet Has a Gun is a perfume that doesn't have, it only has one or two notes. It's a very basic perfume, but they smell really good. Interesting. Vanilla Vibes. This is a plus for me. I like that. And then last, oh, we got two more. I was gonna say last but not least. Got, looks like a little baby blush. This is in by Mana Kadar. Let's see if I can read the color here. Um, Blush Bali Babe. That's what it looks like. I have a ton of these little baby blushes, so I'm actually going to add this to a giveaway in the future. It's really pretty, so I'm not going to put my finger in it. 
I would love to because I think it's really pretty, but I just went nuts on blush lately. I bought all that TJ Maxx, some of those blush palettes and stuff. And then last but not least, we got a Kat Von D vegan, what is this, setting powder maybe? This is in, uh, oh, it's a translucent powder, which my daughter will love. It just looks like that. All right, so those were my three beauty boxes. What do you think? Do you subscribe to any of them? Which one would you subscribe to if you would have a choice? Let me know down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you soon for another one. Bye-bye.